All right, welcome back to Driver's Therapy, where we bring you videos in the rain. <laughs> Today, we have Sean, who was nice enough to bring out his awesome 1994 Mazda RX-7 in silver R2 model. And I'm really excited to talk about it. You're a man who's liked a lot of cars. Now, for the viewers out there, I, I know Sean, we're, we're pretty good friends, and Sean is the gearhead. So, what made you pick the RX-7? That's the question I have, I mean, <laughs> out of all the cars. I just loved it when it came out, and of course I was in my early 20s when it came out, and I couldn't afford one. And my mother bought a brand new 79 in that really beautiful light blue. And then she got another one in 1987. It was the dark blue with the turbo two motor in it. And then she test drove one of these and didn't buy it. <laughs> she loved it, but my dad was kind of, a, I don't know, in an angry mood that day. And uh, the salesman told him I need to do a credit check. And he said, well, screw you then, <laughs> and walked away. But <laughs> Don't ask for the credit check right away. And then of all things, he went out and bought a Cadillac Alante. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all have regrets. Now, it sounds like your mom's really cool. Now, did she give you the keys to the car? Because uh, They vacationed a lot. Let's put it that oh, way. Oh, I like yeah. that. I like <laughs> that. Well, you know, we all have those secrets. My dad had an 84 Z28 50HO, too, which used to disappear a lot when they were out of town. <laughs> well, I don't know if you could roll back the bows on those, but no, no. maybe they weren't paying attention. <laughs> Sean, tell me about your car. When did you get it and how long ago did you get it? Yeah, like I said, I've had it just over a year. And we drove it back from, uh, I keep getting messed up. It's Tempe, I believe. Whatever the one that's further south. <laughs> Tempe or Tucson, <laughs> I can't remember, but. <laughs> I think it's Where the Tucson. Air Force Base is. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. I toured the Air Force Base too, but yeah, and I actually bought it from a, a chief petty officer in the air force so, yeah. nice and then and you flew there with a the one-way ticket right right uh -huh. wow that's yeah. a lot of confidence yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, we've done that before and it didn't work out right, you, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah it happened but so. it worked out so you showed up mm -hmm. and you saw the car and was it love first sight or were you kind uh, of nervous? you know you could have just put this shape in front of me and it would have been love at first sight so <laughs> luckily i took my son with me and he's my <laughs> mental balance on this stuff you know because you when you go look at a car you love and I think most of your viewers, viewers probably agree you're like <laughs> <laughs> and you got to have someone with you <laughs> that's true there <laughs> to balance you and go oh come on do you see that big oil leak oh, yeah. yeah right it's like it's like the, the engine's not even there yeah I don't it's need like, no, I don't need oil <laughs> I'll take it sign the papers <laughs> right so Rolling. but this one was well done it's it's I did not do the build on this as we'll talk about in a minute but it was a well done build so. Well, well, first off, one of the things that I love about it is the color. I, I've always been a big fan of silver and of course the matching inky RPFs, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. that, that it just complements the car. It almost seems like the two paint jobs are almost identically the same, which <laughs> I think they are. Yeah, and this was, I think, I always forget, but it's, I believe, one of 140 in this combination okay with the r2 and the and that color so that's that's not a lot <laughs> no so you got the tempe you you bought the car and then you were driving it back and mm -hmm. i mean that's the best feeling you just bought a car you've got a long way to go it's just you and the road did mm -hmm. it did it meet did it meet your expectations yeah the roads didn't but the car did i don't ever take Indian Road, I think 85 in northern Arizona. That's what it's called. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> I thought the car was actually going to fall apart while going across the road. So you got the real shakedown. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was afraid for the car, but but it did great and it made it all the way back. So Well, it's a testament to to the build. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a very good build. So. Yeah. And you know, the thing about RX-7s when I see them is that they're actually a lot smaller than I envision it. Mm -hmm. you know? Um, but it's it's like a nice small that comp complements it. I, 
Right. I think it's I think it's very beautiful. Now I know I know everyone out there is probably like I'm loving it, but I think this is a perfect time, Sean, to just drop the hammer on there. All right. Yeah, are you ready? You we talked about the build already. Yeah, we talked about. We the hinted build. at it. Yeah, we hinted at it, but we didn't tell you what we what, what's going on. And here. some of you aren't gonna like this, but don't <laughs> don't press pause or. <laughs> All right. So Sean, <laughs> what is the beautiful thing about this car? This car has a low mile. LS2 in it out of a 2006 GTO. And that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm thinking 2,700, right? About 2,700 pounds? Yeah. With a, how much horsepower? Well, this one, the, the engine's rated at 400, 400 horsepower torque. Nice. This one, because of the mods, it does about 385 to the wheels in horsepower. So, so it's 2,700 pounds with about 385. I mean, if you ask me, I think that's a great recipe for a great car. Mm -hmm. And I've heard it and it sounds amazing. So, were you nervous though when you went to Tipe, Arizona, if the car was gonna feel right with a different engine? No, I, I'd read a lot about it. And you know, it, it, the balance is pretty much retained with the LS2. It's not a heavy motor. The transmission is quite a bit heavier. Is it a T56? Yeah. Okay. But it balances out pretty well. They say it, it it's still like a 4951, they say, okay. in the balance. And it still weighs just around 2,700 pounds. So. And one thing you told me is that something about the batteries, right? Oh, yeah. The, there's two six-volt batteries in it, and they're mounted on either side behind the back cargo, cargo so, compartments. So to yeah. compensate for some of that weight distribution. Yeah, it just shifts it to the back or to the middle well, a little more. Well, that's a pretty, pretty mm -hmm. uh, ingenuitive way how to, how to help that yeah. out. Yeah. Um, I mean, the uh, LS2 is an aluminum block, right? Or am yeah, I, okay. this, this one is, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, that makes it quite light. And this is pretty special. Having an LS2 is a, quite a bit more special. Yeah, most of them are LS1s. The really lucky people have LS3s, but <laughs> <laughs> the LS2 makes it actually worth quite a bit more and gives it that extra thump. <laughs> so. so, if you had to name your favorite thing about the car, what would it be? Ah, uh, just... It's just, I, I think it's one of the most beautiful cars ever made. A lot of people don't know this, but the engineers at Chevrolet modeled the C5 after this car. They thought it was so beautiful. If you look at a C5, it's very similar, and they modeled it after this. I actually so, do see the resemblance. Yeah, yeah. I see that. <laughs> Even the rooftop with that funny little... I, I actually call that the little like viper, the snake head. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. yeah and that's only the R2s did not have a sunroof, so you didn't get that in any other model. The suspension's adjustable coilovers all around. They're called Super R, and I don't think you can buy them anymore. They were, they were a fairly pricey uh, coilover. Um, the kit to install it was from a place called Sandberg, who's no longer in business. Um, his stuff's really good. His radiators were really bad, <laughs> but he has a. It, you're allowed to retain the Corvette style intake that goes up over the top and down below. So I don't want to change that. So that's a re the core needs rebuilt because every other radiator I found, you have to do the, the intake off to the side. And this one's really neat. If you've ever seen a C5 out, it goes down the front. Well, you've seen this one, so. Yeah, well, we're gonna, well, mm -hmm. well let's go ahead and look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll hold this, you do this. Sometimes I can't put it in. I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> Oh, look at this emblem. I love it. I just love unique yeah, like that. This was sort of like uh, Mazda tried to do an upscale brand for a few years, which they quit doing. But this was called uh, this was their upscale brand called Affini. Well, I, I going back to what you were saying as far as the intake, that yeah. is really cool. Yeah, it's, he did a really great job designing that, and I, I want to keep it that way. If you look at the radiator, it's actually angled like this back like this i do see that yeah it's a very unique design i think corvettes are also like yeah same thing yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so tell me about the engine itself is there anything else done to it besides it it's got been... long tubes okay of course that intake i haven't cammed it or anything but it sounds really good yeah and it's enough to get it up to like i said about 380 385 to the wheels so well we're gonna have to listen to it but not right now we're gonna <laughs> listen to it and then get kicked out of where we're at so we're gonna do it last mm -hmm. <laughs> so sean an r2 model for you guys out there the mazda rx7 came in different variants but there was special models and the r2 was one of them but sean tell me about it sure well um it's more of the sports model 
that you'll see in a lot of other cars. It came with a few things. It was a better tuned, stiffer suspension. It had real air ducts for cooling. It had this nifty front air dam that you can see. And it came with the spoiler. And it came with, uh, believe it or not, these fancy seats. <laughs> Which are... You can get in there later, we can do it or whatever, but they're velvet, they're velvet seats. <laughs> yeah, velvet seats, I like it. Yeah. Well, so. you know. And those are the original seats. You know, one thing I do like is I like trying seats out. I'm doing it. Here it goes. All right. <laughs> wow, they're actually quite comfortable. Not comfortable like your Supra, but. This is unique though. Look, look at the, look at the leg room underneath here. Yeah. That is, I haven't seen anything like this. Look how much leg room there is under there a lot of cars just sleeve you like this even even like the supra puts you right here but this this lets you stretch out that is really cool mm -hmm. i like it oh we're here in the interior tell me about the interior um, no cruise control no rear windshield wiper you couldn't get a sunroof this was the more pure sports model although the rx7 all models are pure sports models this was just made a little lighter a little more track oriented mm -hmm. Um, I like the way it curves sort of cockpit like not quite as extreme as the Supra but still pretty iconic in the 90s Japanese cars. Um, there's not a lot to say about the interior it's pretty much basic it does have air conditioning but <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> so we've come to the point to ask you what is the next thing you're gonna do with the RX-7? What <laughs> is your plan? Uh, right now it's to treat it well and preserve it and keep it nice i don't like to race it or tear it up or anything but in the future i'm probably going to pro charge it and we'll probably cam it eventually yeah. but it's also going to need a new rear end before that happens it's got the stock rear end in it are you serious yeah it'll hold the power perfectly well i don't launch or anything but but i will you know a 48 inch or something i i may or may not do that it, i mean it's insanely fast right now for the street i don't have anything to prove so true <laughs> well just drive around and look good <laughs> well it looks like you already do that <laughs> well our last thing is before we get kicked out is we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna listen to it so let's do it <laughs> I've never sat in an RX-7 before. Now you have. All right, whenever we're ready. Let's go. 